Well, hey, welcome back to the bench. Today, I want to look at these little high voltage modules and how easy it is to make maybe a self-defense uh, stun gun module out of these. And I'm just going to use an 18650 uh, battery holder, a cheap switch, some rosin flux to do my soldering. Um, bring over my little soldering helping hands here. I always have some links in the description of the actual board holder and then the flexible arms you can put on here yourself. I simply just put a bolt through mine and use one of the pieces and just pop it right back on. So that's a pretty quick and easy way to make your own board holder and helping hands. I've just taken some copper, at least for um, temporarily experimenting. I got some copper, some copper wire that I've just made some contact points out of and sharpened them up a little bit. I'm sure stainless steel will be better, but I'm gonna solder these copper ones and test them out. Of course, you have to check with your own local laws about even having something like a, a stun gun because it's not legal everywhere. And of course, it's always illegal to use something incorrectly, right? Or whether it's a knife or handgun or anything, right? So stun gun's no different. Uh, it could be something for self-defense, of course, which is what it should be intended. I'm gonna use a little bit of rosin flux here to help me with the impurities here and help the, the solder and, and flux built into the into the flux core solder here. Stick even better, so I think I can get the heat shrink on that afterwards, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some on there just in case, at least one, one layer of it. Pretty sweet there. One down. Kind of tanning both of these at once here. Adding some more solder here. So what I have here is just a piece of plastic substrate that I'm gonna use here, I already had a little 90 degree piece. I used a piece of this plastic on the on the last video where I did a, um, a Dyson kind of retrofit to a Milwaukee M18 battery. I used some of the same plastic on there. It's just a piece of uh, a plastic I had laying around that I kept. You could use whatever works for you, really. It doesn't have to be any particular thing. It just needs to be non-conductive, of course. Any thicker though, and I probably wouldn't have been able to solder on ahead of time, but that's gonna work out just fine, like so. So my thoughts is to use it and one of these fingers here press up we'll see how it goes That 
rosin flux just helps a lot with impurities, helps the solder stick better. I'm just going to put some old hot snot, some hot glue on here to hold this in place. Same thing with the battery side here, the battery holder side that is. Gonna mount the switch right here. So back now. After a little bit of hot gluing and allow it to dry. This is just the first go at it here. So I still have to come back and glue my high voltage terminals in place. They're, they're still a work in progress here. And I would imagine we could go even wider um, with the space. And of course that depends on what the voltage output module you have is. This one's supposed to be around 400,000. Of course, just the 18650 sale that I've, um, salvaged out of an older battery a battery that the um, bms control board was bad on i just saved the good sales out of it tested them for capacity and they're in really good shape so i keep dozens of them around uh, so basically free and free less than a dollar i think because i bought a dozen of them and these were less than five bucks if you bought two so the rest of this is just stuff i had laying around That's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. I started to do my thumb with the trigger, but I thought maybe it would be easily hidden. I don't know. I guess I'll depend on your preference on that. I was gonna try a squeeze trigger where your thumb don't automatically come down on it. And you, you do have to kind of reach for it, so. And of course, when you're playing with these modules, one thing it tells you, even if the instructions aren't very clear, one thing it is clear about it is we don't want to uh, operate this very long in like an open output. So we do want that arc to jump across. And I think that's one reason that a lot of your stun guns, for example, instead of coming out like I did here for testing to shoot across, I think a lot of them do something similar to this. And that's so, this is a closer gap here and it'll always shoot across. And of course, if you have to contact somebody forward, then the voltage, of course, would go to the, you know, to that body or to that surface. So, so we could definitely come back and design these tips a little differently. But this way we make sure that, um, that we always shoot across that gap and we have current flow. And without that, the voltage will build to the point where it destroys the output section of this little high voltage module. So we don't want to dead short that. We don't really want to leave it open for more than a, a second or so. 
and we don't want to operate this continually. It, it says in there not for continuous use or I think it said not for many hours, but I think that means actually not for a, not for very long, probably duty cycle. So, and also you may be wondering a double layer switch or another level of protection against hitting the switch. And we can make it a dual switch assembly. We could, there's several different ways you could do it, implement it right. But one thing I'm going to leave this in storage with a charged battery. I just have a little tab here. And of course this tab, it stops the battery from being able to contact the positive host. I'm just going to slide it in like so to keep it from making contact. If you do forget that it's there and you need it in a tight, I designed this to put a little lever on a piece of plastic that I had laying around. It actually will flip out when you go to press the button. At that point, just make sure the battery is seated good, but it, the spring is usually enough to make it make contact on its own. Should be ready to go. But pretty sweet. For the money, you just can't beat it. So I hope you like this video today, looking into this little stun gun or high voltage output module and just how cheap this is and how easy it is to, um, to just within a few minutes, right? Just put into a little device. Could be used for many things, maybe um, arc or igniter on your grill or something of that nature. Uh, a lot of applications for it. It might come in handy. If you found this video to be helpful today, please consider liking the video, subscribing, and thanks for watching.